The saddest of sad stories this morning out of Toronto. A five-year-old girl has died after she was pinned between two vehicles at her Toronto Elementary School yesterday. Let's go to Linda Ward, who's on the story for us and just outside that school this morning. Linda. Well, good morning, Heather, and just a very difficult day here outside St. Raphael Catholic School in North York. We can just show you the growing memorial that has begun here outside of the school. Students arrived here this morning, leaving flowers, leaving uh, teddy bears, and a little note as well, a little angel, it says, today it would be wonderful to see you play or smile, but heaven lent you to this world for just a little while. Such a sad situation, and we can tell you some of the circumstances of why happened here. Uh, police say it was about pickup time, 3.20 yesterday. A vehicle, a Mercedes, uh, driven by the girl's father, police say, parked on this side of the road. Across the street there, it's a no parking zone. Police say that's where a Hyundai Santa Fe was parked uh, by another parent who left the vehicle, went inside of the school to, or into the school grounds rather, to pick up their child. But somehow that vehicle rolled forward uh, towards the vehicle parked on this side as that child was getting into the vehicle with her father. It struck her father, pinned her against the car. She was taken to Sick Kids Hospital where she was pronounced dead. And of course, police looking into the mechanics of that vehicle just to see exactly what happened and what caused uh, this uh, collision to occur. But yes, dealing with this tragic situation here today, Michael Kakamo, the superintendent of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, is here. There's a prayer service going on inside uh, this morning. This morning we did have a prayer service for staff. Uh, we gathered uh, before the start of school to uh, lend our thoughts and prayers uh, for each other, but most specifically to um, the family of this uh, tragedy, the loss of this young child in such a tragic way. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the family involved and all families involved. And we're pretty much here this morning um, uh, supporting the school community, the staff and the students. We have um, social worker staff on site psychology staff and of course our pastoral team our, our religion and family life and our chaplaincy leads are here mm -hmm. to provide whatever support is needed uh, for our students and for our staff and, and so difficult as well as we've been hearing from some of the people uh, who are dropping off this morning that some of the students uh, tried to intervene tried to lend a hand as this uh, situation was playing out so uh, so many students probably feeling the effects of what happened yesterday what is the mood inside that school right now well, uh, as you can imagine, it's a shock to our community and we're grieving and very much in mourning. And that's everyone that was involved, staff and students. We're very sensitive to those students who may have witnessed and so we're making sure that we are offering the support that might be needed um, during this very difficult time. Thank you very much. And uh, we know that the teachers also attending a uh, prayer service this morning inside of this school, but many parents dropping off here this morning visibly distraught. This is going to be a very difficult day here today, Heather. Indeed. And a lesson to be learned, uh, sad as it is. Thank you very much, Linda Ward there uh, for us in Toronto.